Uh oh. What's happening, fam? LA y'all movement still moving. And it seems like my phone is moving too. Now, as you can see by the title, a country with no social contract. God dog, my other phone is tripping. So, what this is about is society in itself having no social contract. So, I'm looking up um, dictionary of social contract, which is a noun, an implicit agreement among the members of a society to cooperate for social benefits. For example, by sacrificing some individual freedom for state protection. Theories of a social contract became popular in the 16th, 17th, 18th centuries among theorists such as Thomas Hobbes, John Locke, and Jean-Jacques, Jean-Jacques, I want to say Jean-Jacques Rousseau as a means of explaining the origins of government and the obligations of subjects. So, you know, an example, social contract theory says that people live together in society in accordance with an agreement that establishes moral and political rules of behavior. The U.S. Constitution is one, I'm sorry, the U.S. Constitution is often cited as an explicit example of part of America's social contract. It sets out what the government can and cannot do. So that being said, you know, oh man, what's popping Emmanuel? <laughs> My bad, I'm over here tripping. Uh, that being said, I'm gonna uh, spread this out a little bit. So initially, using the constitution as they were using as, a, as an outline, in that second an example, there is no social contract with uh, Americans, quote unquote, because all men are created equal means nothing, you know. And for women, that also means nothing. What's up, there, brother? You know, Faith, what's going on, Shug? So that means nothing. So there is no social contract as far as the United States. You know, we try to act like there is, but there isn't because using the Constitution as a as a reference, that only the Constitution and the rules and the laws only worked for one group of people. You know, just in in a general sense. You know, in a general sense, what's up, Aaron? In a general sense, with everybody else, um, you have to jump through hoops and you know know the language, the you know in the proper term, in the proper moment with the proper person, you know, it has to be this magical thing. So you can't have a social, you know, there's no social contract amongst the quote unquote ethnicities of America. You know, there you go. No social contract equals racism. You know, uh oh, thug was popping. So this is first and foremost. So we're dealing in a society where you got people who assume that it's a social contract. And what I mean by that is this, you know, that all men is cre was created equal was why we were in slavery, but that, that didn't apply to Native Americans. They weren't created equal either. You, you get what I mean? So what was done to them was legal under the United States Constitution. You know, they never, up, up, the, the United States government never upheld its treaties with, with um, any Indian tribe. Just, they never did it, you know. So there wasn't a social contract that we can get along together. Chat, what's popping? You know, there wasn't a contract that we, you know, that they can get along together. It was somebody said something, but somebody did the opposite. You know what I mean? He said, yeah, exactly. Land, it was the land, you know, for free for certain people. It wasn't the land of the free. Oh, man, Tyrone was popping. So that's problem number one. So now we're dealing with all of the things that's going on from that point to now. 
because people are assuming, you know, you have people who, you know, this is how the country is. Nobody agreed on that. Just because a bunch of white dudes wrote on a piece of paper, this is what it's going to be for everybody, but it only, you know, let me, let me, okay. The Bill of Rights, the Constitution, for people who are not, not white, it's just a, a piece of paper that a bunch of white dudes wrote on and agreed that these are the rules for them that wasn't going to apply to everybody else. So it does, it, there is no agreement. People, This is my country. No, it's not. America is, 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 is still the, the, actually the country of the Native American. And I hate to say Native American because they wasn't Americans before America was uh, America. You know, it's still their country because this country was never bought. Nobody paid the, the, those tribes for this country. Nobody traded. I take that back. Some people did pay and trade, but they, they, they got people drunk and high. And it was like, oh, yeah, you agreed to that, which is, you know, by quote unquote American standards, illegal and immoral and unethical. But that's something that can only happen. You could do that with, you know, non-white people. That was the same thing that happened to George Clinton. You know, that's how they got him for like his rights for the Funkadelic. Some dude wrote, you know, he, he signed his autograph on a napkin and then the dude wrote a contract over that and they upheld it in court. In any other circumstance, that'd be ridiculous. Ridiculous. So when it comes to morals, in ethics, and in a code of conduct, there is there isn't one. There isn't one in this country. Not, not there isn't one for everybody to quote unquote uh, agree has agreed upon to get along. No, it hasn't. It has never existed. You know. <laughs> so that's problem. Like I said, problem number one. You know, political power grows. No, I don't go out of the barrel of a gun. Like a lot of this stuff, well, I just disagree. Like political power, this country was really, look, I don't, I don't like saying it like this all the time, you know, but this country was founded on befriending people that you was going to shoot. So... Even with the political power being, you know, in, in a sense, by a gun, you know, this is how. Let me befriend the Indians, and let's, and when they, and when they think we friends, let's kill them. Let me befriend the Africans, and, you know, let you know, and and and, and let me take the people that they've they've captured or whatever, and they go, we gonna make them our slaves. You know, this is what's going on. This is what's been going on. Same thing happened in the Caribbean and Central and South. Let us be friends. And then when you really think we're friends, let me shoot you. You know? You know, so, uh, Big Mad, if you're talking to me, man, how about you find me on Instagram and drop your location? And if we're in the same city, let's see who we. Like, this just is a regular... Uh, um, live stream, and I'm not, I'm not for it, bro. I'm really not, cause I got other things to talk about. I'm not, I'm not with this, this bullshit. Don't get me twisted with somebody who won't break your fucking face, okay? Now you ain't got, you ain't even got to delete them, like you know, cause one of you, one of you trolls like that. I'm gonna catch one of y'all one of these days, and I, and, and I'm not gonna film shit, and I'm not gonna talk about it. On this, on these streams, but I'm gonna put your ass on a stretcher. That's what's gonna wind up happening. Yeah, I got you, Prometheus. No, but that's one of the other things that um, you know, there's no social contract. Uh, the other thing, you know, I, I've come to terms with is there is no social contract. You know, that was a stupid fucking question, Big Mad. Why did the Native Americans have arrows? The, B, 
big retarded. From now on, you big retarded. See, you you didn't want to you didn't want to meet up what I said to do. So you know, how I'm. Get me on Instagram. Tell me if we're in the same city and drop the location. If you don't want to do that, you might want to chill out. Because I ain't got time for you little sensitive ass hoes. Because that's what you are. Little sensitive ass hoe. Now the next thing about the, um, is it has to do with, you know, how can I say this? Uh, law abiding citizens and criminals. Go on, you can block him. He ain't gonna do. He ain't about. You know, if he ain't never, he never said nothing about driving location. Fuck him. Get rid of him. Cause see, the minute I said, let's see if we in the same city. Now I get questions. That's why I don't like hoes like that. You talk all that trolling shit, and then somebody said, where you at? Huh? I don't know how to take that. Stupid ass bitch. But it's like okay. On top of that. We got law-abiding citizens versus, well, which city are you in, Big Mad, since I'm triggered? Tell me which city you in. Since, 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 this is a, since you want to play games, we're going to play. No, no, don't troll that bitch out. No, you, know, un, you know, unblock him if you can. When you, when you, after your 300 seconds is up, whatever that is, tell me which city you in. Let's see. So, back to the lecture, cause I, I'm not I'm not gonna play you. You, I got other things in life that you don't want no parts of. So, the other thing is law-abiding citizens versus um, criminals, right? There's no social contract. You know, there used to be. Like there used to be a time where if you, if somebody was a law-abiding citizen. The people in the streets really didn't mess with them. That, that, that street stuff was the people who were involved in some form of the underworld. And what I mean by law by the citizens, I mean people who just kept it clean. People who just, you know, went to work, went home, went church, you know, was good. Was good, fam. He's a, he ain't gonna show up like that. You know. So what winds up happening is. You know, there was a time where the people who were in the streets, it was the people who was, you know, criminal organizations, you know, criminal lifestyle, or the people who had jobs but were dabbling gambling, if it was, you know, illegal gambling or prostitution or, you know, doing drugs with, with, with those people. Like, those people are, are fair game once they get into that area, you know what I'm saying? But... It seems like there, there was a code, like certain things didn't go on at a certain time of day or in certain places. There had to be um, a protocol to follow. Like, you know, you didn't, you didn't want people who had nothing to do with, with, the, with, the, with the shenanigans that went down to be involved. Nowadays, there is no social contract. It's like anybody, you know, anybody who's um, in, in, in that light, in that criminal lifestyle, everybody is fair game now. You know, people forget. Um, and I, it's not like it's movie-esque in a sense, but, you know, even when people got robbed, people had did backup, you know, used to check on who, who these people were and if they were good people or not. You know, people, people who got robbed, they, they were usually people who did underhanded things. And it might have looked good in public, but they got caught underhanded. You know, they, exactly, there used to be a code. So now you got, there's no social contract. So you got people um, who are law-abiding citizens having to deal with people who intrude their criminal lifestyle in, into, their, into their life. And, you know, part of the contract, I mean, is people forget or, or seem to forget, you know, uh oh! Wow, that's that's hilarious, Mike. But people seem to forget. There was a time if you if you can't if if you're whether it's you know a two parent household, single parent household, you know, you know. 
Are you going? Are you going? Okay, so what city are you in? I'm not threatening your life. I'm just telling you I'm gonna beat your ass. Cause see, people like you think you can come mess with people and nothing's gonna happen to you. So which city are you in? Since you wanna be a troll, a troll gonna get their fucking neck broke. Which city are you in? See, don't be a bitch now. Don't be a bitch now. I'm in Houston. Which city are you in? See, I'm I'm asking the question. You see how quick that was to say? What city you in? Not Houston. Okay. Block this bitch. <clears throat> now, getting back to, you know, you know, the irony of it is, and this is what I mean. People forget that, you know, you cross a line, something's going to happen. You know, everybody's not everybody to be played with and trifled with every day, you know. No, I mean, God says it's not even about feeding the trolls. You know, I get what you're saying, though, definitely, you know. But see, some of these people got to understand that, you know, oh, keep talking that shit. Keep keep it up. See what happens. Because I don't give a shit how, how old or young or what gender that person is. Keep talking that shit. You're going to see me. But this, this is, let me go back to the social contract. You know, used to be in a two-parent household or a single-parent household, or his widow, depending on the war or whatever. If your child decided th that they had an infatuation with the, with the streets, you get kicked out of the house. You know, no matter how old you were. You could have been 13 years old. You wanted to be a gangster, get out of the house. You could have been 16, get out of the house. And it didn't matter if you was a, 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 a boy or a girl. That's what you want to do? You're not bringing that to my house. Because with, with the streets, uh, the, the, the underworld was everybody could get it. You know, I got you. I appreciate y'all for that too. The streets was, you know, if you was involved in the streets, once you jump off the porch, that's the lifestyle you're going to live, you know, child or grown. You know, that's a, it was a decision that you made. But the contract was, you leave the people who ain't in the streets alone. You know, and there were times where people tried to break that contract back in the day, and it was people who were law-abiding citizens or, or, and family men who was like, okay, or, and veterans who was like, okay, bring it, bring it over here if you want to, and, and it's going to be a problem. And, you know, it was understood. But there's no social contract now because it seems like everybody... Um, it's some way, some way, shape, form, or fashion trying to tie themselves to the streets even when they're not in it. So now you become part of the part of the group even even though you're not in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just like the grand admiral. Yeah, just get out. Like you can't you can't do that here. So it's kind of funny because peace, brother. Peace. What's going on? You know. So now we don't have a contract and you see people, you know, you can see it across within the race where boy, what I'm about to say is gonna be trifling. So crime has a criminals have a, a, a contract, but the law about us, you know, they still abide by it. They don't go, they they try not to, you notice. All of these criminal organizations don't go in the white areas. It ain't just the black ones. The Hispanic ones don't do it. The Asians don't do it. Okay? Don't go to the white area. Don't, don't bring that over there. Like, all of the crime that stays within that, in, in those communities, and Hispanics and Asians police themselves um, a whole lot better than we police ourselves. So, as people in the underworld or whatever, they got a contract that you, you can, you can, that stays in your neighborhood. You bring that out of the neighborhood, then it's like, you know, everything else gets involved. But at the same time, the people who not in that stuff, you know, if somebody's doing good in life, now you want to rob them. See, that wasn't, you know, that wasn't the case. 
and now there's no social contract because you know kids get robbed, you know grand grandmothers get robbed. You know what I mean? Um, there was a time back in the day where people used to leave their door open, unlocked in black communities because that um, everybody was that safe. And there were criminals back in those days. And every now and then they would try somebody, but either they'd get shot or somebody was about to shoot them and they'd, they'd like, you know what, I'm sorry, my bad. Didn't even commit, you know, didn't even um, call the police like that. So now, you know, no social contract, um, which is problematic. It's problematic, in my opinion. Um, so now everybody feels, you know, the need to dabble or play or, or play like they're in it. Now the other thing, you know, what's up, X? Yeah. They, they, yeah, they ain't. They, yeah, you you right. You right about that. They, I mean, they ain't bulletproof. So what, what's up, D? Yeah, I I got what you meant, fam. I definitely got what you meant. So that's that part. Now the 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 other part of it. There's no social contract contract in America as far as it comes to opportunity. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Savage? You know, th there's no social contract in America when it comes to opportunity. We'll say something like, um, if you work hard, um, you can go far in America. But the problem with that is that that was more like a narrative and not um, a real reality. So what up, blood? <laughs> you know what? Oh, that's cool. So it was has become a narrative, right? And going back to the government part where, you know, all men are created equal, everybody is you know, everybody's free. And that 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 extended to the social contract with opportunity. Because even if you have the money to to purchase something, you might not have you know, you might be knocked out of the opportunity to do it. Third degree was popping. So there's no social contract with uh, you know, success in America. Working hard doesn't equate to success in America. You know, they used to tell me when I was younger, it's not what you know, it's, it's who you know. Meaning, um, in this country, <laughs> you can be a genius, but if you don't know the right people, you could be a broke genius. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, you can be an, um, an innovative individual, but if you don't know the right people, it's meaningless. If you can't get into the right rooms or open the right doors or get the green light from certain people. So what that mean? So at the end of the day, um, this country is more so about uh, net, nepotism and networking than actually hard work. So you know, if you go to school and get an education, well, education is overpriced. You know, so school has become a business in this country. You know, it, it, man, it, it, and that's cold blooded, ain't it, Emmanuel? And, and so now, you know, there is no contract to say, okay, you know, we look at success stories as, you know, like we using people like the Kardashians, they look like a success story. Are they talented? No. Did they, did they work hard? No. Um, just you know, pimped relationships pretty much to to um, create a brand, right? There's, 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 there's no ne no knowledge necessary for that, you know. Same thing with the you know, um, same thing I see you know now even with music, you know it ain't just rap culture. It's music in general where you really don't have to be talented. You know, you, if you got a look, cool. Um, if 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 you have a um, not a catchy hook, but a, a song that um, if you create a song that's vulgar enough, it, people gravitate to it. So 
the contract isn't work hard. The contract is shock value. You know, so as be as shocking as possible, and maybe that'll get you on. You know, I've been good, John. How you been? You know, so we have no social contract when it comes to hard work. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> hilarious. So now you got people like, man, it really doesn't matter how hard I work. It really doesn't matter how much effort I put into it. It really doesn't matter how much skill I have. If, if you know, I have to have a, a gimmick uh, on top of, um, I have to have some type of stick, stick, or, you know, not necessarily a niche, because a niche is like a niche market, and that'll take um, planning. You don't have to really plan like that, unfortunately. Uh, so, since, you know, you got kids growing up, oh, I ain't got to work. I ain't got to work that hard. I got to do this, this, and this. You know, maybe I go viral. And if I go viral, bam, bada boom, bada bing. It is what it is. Um, so now we live in a society where we look at, like, people look at this, and what I'm doing is hard work. Like, who I'm sweating. I'm just, Jesus, this is so, so difficult. The light is on me, and... I'm talking like, Jesus, you don't understand what it, what goes into this. Like, no, no, uh-uh. So, you know, the social contract is, 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 is really is null and void to say, you know, hard work gets you um, ahead in life because it seems like what, what, what's actually happening is people who work hard are working themselves to death to maintain you know, while they'll you know, say poor people are getting handouts and rich people are getting huge handouts, you know, and you're like, nobody's really working, you know. The rich are not really working and the poor are not really working. It's everybody in the middle that's working. So, you know, how is that success? You know, how, how, is, how is that hard, how is hard work paying off like that? And, you know, people are not going to look at it, look at it that way. Um, I would say the other thing that would go there would be there's no social contract in America when it comes to family. It is it is what it is, you know. Congress bought they were right, you know. Yeah, I mean, if you were, well, yeah, it's 2020, but unfortunately, what I'm talking about is the social contract, not not people's ability to be um, innovative. But getting to like the family contract, um, what's up Ron? There is no social contract with the family anymore. You know, people wanna say, you know, men are supposed to do this and women are supposed to do that. Well, that's murky at best because people are wanting to do, um, what benefits them and without the sacrifice. So there is no social contract if, you know, the contract is I'm going to do what benefits me and whatever costs me, um, I'm not going to do, but I want you to do what benefits me and do what costs you too. Like, it's not, it's not how it's going to work. So you got, you know, family at odds because uh, men and women are not, don't have a real um, a, a, a contract that, Somebody needs to do something so so much so this is why, you know, we, you know, even I talk about um, the family court system, but the family court system is is basically there because, you know, you can't come up with an agreement as a man and a woman when it comes to your family. That's just basically it. Now I know people. Some people get it. Say well, that's you know, some people don't want to come up with a deal. They want they want to use the state to leverage, and leverage for them to, to have a deal. And that's absolutely true also, but which still leads to the, the comment that, you know, there is no social contract. You know, you want, the, you know, the, the contract is between you, one person and the government to lean on another person. So, and, that's, and that has a time span to it. Once that time is up, you know, you, you're going to still, quote unquote, need each other because your kid is your kid no matter how, how old, but... 
you know, since there is no contract, there's certain things that's not going to get done. It's not going to get done, you know, no matter how you like it. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about the lack of family. I'm getting to that too. I, you know, I'm just, I'm starting with the man and woman, but I'm getting to that too. Um, as we go, oh yeah, you know, so I, I, I get that, John. You know, so now, hey, honey, what's up? So now it's like, when I think, because, you know, this came up because I was listening to, um, um, the Great Liberators this morning, and I was listening to Steph. Steph is cold last night. It's Stefan Clink scales. Shout out to both of them. Stefan doing this thing. You gotta salute that. That was, that was he doing this thing. And um, and one of the things that Amir was talking about yesterday that I saw to listen to this morning was, you know, men and women have no social contract, so. Um, so men are looking for, you know, the breakdown equals for women wanted empowerment and sexual liberation. So, you know, the flip side of women, you, you take care of yourself, but the sex becomes free since you're liberated. So you got guys looking for opportunities to get free sex without, um, doing what men in the past used to do to be a, as, be a provider for a woman. And you got women who don't necessarily want men to be providers or they want them to be providers in case of emergency type thing. So that's not a contract. That's just a bunch of people trying to get in where they fit in. So, you know, yeah, relations, not relationships. Definitely, Patrick. So now you live in, you know, we're living in, in a space where this affects family because now there is no no contract between a man and a woman, so there's no contract between the families and, and the and the in, between the nuclear family, which extends to the extended family. Meaning, there used to be a time where somebody get married, and say an uncle or aunt on either side, you know, a, you know, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, this, that, and the third. What's up, my bad. You know, it it um somebody could get you a job or hire, you know, hire you or get you a job or, or, or help you with certain things in life or, you know, uh, tutor your kids or in some ways lighten the load financially by, okay, your, your uncle knows how to do this, so he going to come do it for you. That way you ain't got to pay somebody. So the whole family structure breaks down because it's just, you know, two parents, ch children, and the government, you know, so there, there ain't no... There ain't no unity in that, so it's no that that social contract is done. So since it's done, you know, people are thinking about you know men are supposed to um, be concerned about legacy, and I'm in agreement with that. All I'm saying is, with a broken social contract, they they really don't the, the the legacy is for who now? You get what I'm saying? Are you, are you, you know, now you got to leave it for your kid or your kids. If you got kids by different people, now it spreads around. It's, it, 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 you know, the laws make it go directly to certain people. But um, what winds up happening is, you know, with no social contract between men and women, I'm not going to, I'm not going to give my son my legacy knowing that he's going to share it with his brother and sister who are not my children. I got to keep, you know, let's, let's get some stipulations out in this thing, right? You know, or vice versa. You know, is it four more years? Yeah, I think me too, Punish. I believe so. You know, you get what I'm saying? I, I hope you get what I'm saying for me. You get, hmm, if that make you go live, go live, you know. But, right, committed halfway. So now it's like, Guys are like, you know, I'll pass down, you know, some jewelry. I'll pass down a car, but am I passing down a house? No, because you see in society, people are not, you know, since men and women are getting together, you see less people buying actual property, buying land or property. So, you, you know, I've talked about a generation, the generation, um, the boomers and generation prior to me, 
you know, everybody at least, they got a house from their parent, at least, when they die. House, maybe some money left over. I'm not, you know, with my parents, I'm not getting that. I'm not getting that. I, I, you know, I, you know, here's some land to pass down on to the, this is for the kids or the grandkids, it, none of that. And that's going to extend out to society because you got people who are going to be dying in apartments. You know, no land, nothing to pass on. You know, yeah, you, 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 got, your, you got your uncle stuff out of, the, out of the apartment and uh, he left you some Versace shades and his crown royal collection. Nothing. Because there's no social contract. You know what I'm saying? So the family just is, uh, you can't have, the, you know, you can't have nepotism in this country because of that. You know, because who am I going to give my family uh, business to? Which part? You know, some people forget, like when I was talking about sharing with, with siblings that aren't yours, some people forget that some people have an issue we're passing down wealth because uh, children have have been have not been balanced by balanced out by both parents, so you your kids are kids in the future and have been in the past have been pseudo um, tra wealth transfers. So say dad dies, leave the kids a hundred thousand dollars. Now. Dad, the kid gets $100,000 from dad. Mom guilt trips the kid for $30,000, $40,000. But your mom and your dad was never married. You get what I'm saying? So now, and, and you already paid up your child support, you know, and they, and they already helped him grow. Now, this guy's pseudo paying for your mama. But you gotta understand that mama ain't gonna do that for, you know, uh, mama ain't gonna do that for your dad's family. It ain't gonna happen. Right. Now, I mean, even with the will, like, you know, cause kids get, get stuff left over to them and, they, and they'll, you know, well, I gotta get, I gotta get this for this person. I gotta get that for that. No, you don't. No, you don't. You know, you know, I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, Britt. You know, but I'm just, you know, the family structure of that. Doctor was popping. Of all this kids, man, that's dope. That's dope. Salute to him. So, you get that thing in there. So, I think, you know, last but not least, you know, that's family. The, the contract between, social contract between men and women is broken. As far as um, dating, um, because all these other contracts are broken, and the irony of it is, you know, everything goes. So you can do whatever you want to do. Is it get a will? Yeah. yeah, people got a hard time with that. I don't know why. I, you know, it's funny. I think people have a hard time with wills because people don't have a hard time with accepting death. And I think people back in the day were more mature because they knew I'm going to die. You know, this is what I'm going to leave to this person, this is what I'm going to leave to that person. So, you know, unfortunately, I think we on that, I'm going to live forever. I'm, I'm yeah, you know, people, you still young. You're only 62. You're still young. Yeah, okay. All right. Whatever you say. But, you know, the dating part, no social contract. None whatsoever. You know, you <laughs> yeah, 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 I feel you on that. You know, so now we playing this game where, you know, we're going to date forever. We're going to pseudo use each other. They, they're all, you know, they say all is fair in love and war, but all is unfair when there's no love. So everything is cool. Using a person, cool. Manipulating a person, cool. Um... How can I say this? Uh, pitting people against each other? Cool. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff is cool. So, you know, when I saw somebody, you know, bigging up, uh, oh, man, you know, you know, uh, I think Boosie was bigging up August Alcina, smashing Will Smith's wife. You know, Louisiana dudes and mess up your whole house. And it's like, hey, man, 
That's no social contract because the same people that that big up the guy who who's sleeping with another man's woman is the same guys who upset if you're sleeping with his woman. So the social contract, you know, in dating amongst men and women is broken, but in dating amongst codes with with men and men and women and women, that's broken too. Because a woman, don't, you know, men don't have a problem trying to sleep with your old lady. Women don't have a problem trying to sleep with your man. So since there's no contract, there's no respect. There's no respect. And, and with the respect gone, you know, <laughs> you know what is there? What, what, what actually, there is no order. There is no structure to it. And I kind of find funny that, you know, it's so bad that, you know, you got people dating the same gender, trying to be the opposite gender without a social contract either. I, you know, I'm a woman who want to play the man role, but I don't want to be a man, but I want to be with a woman who, who, wanna, who want to be with a woman who wants to dress like a man and act like a man. But, but if she leave me for a man, I'm going to be mad. If I leave her for a man because I don't want to be a man, I really want to be a woman pretending to be a man. It's okay. That is not a... That is just all over the place. All over the place. You know what I'm saying? There's no, there's no contract. There are a lot of people, and, and even what I mean by that is in dating in general, all of these terms in the last 10, 15 years popped up. You know, either you with somebody or you're not. It's complicated. That's because there's no, no contract. You know what I'm saying? The, we hanging out, you know, I'm looking for somebody to chill with, this, this, you know, Netflix, you know, just somebody, even the, the, somebody to build with. Build don't mean commit. Build don't mean you're going to be with somebody. All these ambiguous terms that nobody really knows the answer to, that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just that type of stuff. So, you know, it is what it is. So you got no social contracts and... We got a country, you know, who, which which has been spiraling out of control from from multiple directions for multiple uh, decades, and people are like, "Well, where's the leadership? Where's the order?" Unfortunately, I don't think people have recognized that the American culture is to is to not have a social contract now. That you know, it's 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 spilled into everything. That's why I started with the government with the all men to create an equal thing because that set the precedent of because of its hypocrisy to, to get into all these other social contracts that are full of hypocrisy that people aren't, aren't, um, aren't agreeing to or, or, or people are, are, are creating social contracts that are unilateral and then getting upset when people say, oh, I'm not, I'm not in that. I'm not with that. No, no, no. That, you, you made a unilateral contract and you think everybody in society is supposed to bend to what you want. Not finna happen. So, um, I'm done on this. You know, uh, like, share, subscribe, catch y'all on the next one. You know, so, peace.